Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna and today's video is all about throwing harder. If there's one thing most dodgeballers want, they want a harder throw. They're always trying to increase power in their throw and these five exercises are going to target your oblique sling, which in turn will help you increase the power in your throw. So let's jump right into it. So what are the posterior and anterior oblique slings? They're actually a muscle group, or group of muscles, I should say, that run from your shoulder to your opposite hip. So you have uh, one that runs a muscle group that runs from your right shoulder to your left hip and your left shoulder to your right hip. They're, they, it's been deemed the whip muscle group. So by training your oblique sling, you're gonna increase power on your rotation, which if you have a stronger whip or rotation, you're gonna have a stronger throw. So if you think of it in layman's terms, if you get more hip to shoulder separation, you're going to get more velocity on your throw. So the first exercise is called an agility row. So I'm gonna demonstrate really quick with a dumbbell, but I would recommend you using a kettlebell for this. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do a lateral jump. So starting in a lateral jump, you're gonna land like this. So let's do it. Kettlebell. So the second exercise is called a sling slam. And what you're gonna need is a medicine ball and a partner. Your partner is gonna throw the ball up at you. You're gonna be on one knee with the leg that's up as closest to your partner and you're coming across your body and slamming the ball on the ground. Okay, so number three is a single leg Romanian deadlift with a, a row at the end. You can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell for this. So let me demonstrate it now. So going to the leg that's on the ground is gonna be the side the kettlebell's on. And I'm going slowly and then doing a row and then coming back up and that's one rep. Just like that. Number four is called the kettlebell landmine swing and all you'll need for this one is a kettlebell. So you're gonna stand shoulder width apart and the side with the kettlebell on it is slightly behind the opposite leg and when you come down to swing you're gonna bend your knees and when you come up you're gonna keep the kettlebell upright so don't let it fall like that. So let me demonstrate it. like that. Number five is called dead bugs. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay with your back flat and your knees bent slightly and your arms up in the air. You, your lower back should be touching the ground so make sure it always stays on the ground and you're going to do the opposite arm and opposite leg out and bring it back in. Just like that. Making sure that your back is always touching the ground. So I hope you enjoyed these five oblique sling exercises. If you did, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you.